Hi, my name is Brooke. Welcome to the Bureau in my garage studio. So I'm going to start with my push through bar of some cat cows. I do the top spring and I'll start just with a nice kneeling position here. I'm going to start with a nice sense of my plumb line. So I'm going to allow my body to shift back and shift forward a little bit. And I notice when I shift back, I'm not able to connect to my center as much as I shift forward. I sort of have to use my abdominal muscles as a break so I don't fall forward. So this feels about right. I feel my hamstrings, I feel the pit of my stomach, shoulders on my back, collarbone wide, shin bones, toenails pressing down. I'm going to start a simple tricep extension. Move for four more. And as I press the bar down, I'm focusing on lifting from that inseam of my inner thighs through my pelvic center up to the roof of my mouth, building my posture. I'm going to do one with a good measure. Inhaling, exhaling. And I'm going to inhale, press, keep the reach, keep the lift, keep the pull to center. And I'm going to round my spine up and over into my cat back. And then keeping my cat back as I start, and I'm just going to rock forward and back a little bit. And as I rock forward, I notice my center lengthens. And as I rock back, I notice I, I'm able to cinch my waist and up a little bit more in my round cat back. Arms long, collarbones still wide, shoulders still lifted on my back. Good. And I'm going to pause here, and then I'm going to unfurl my spine into an extension. And lengthen the sides. I always draw my thigh bones back. It's so long. Reaching my arms out of my armpits, collarbone wide. And now I'm going to draw my tailbone down around my back. Roll my stomach in. Keep my hips drawing right on top of my shins. Shin bones press down. And then unfurl my spine back up. Back to my tricep extension, inhaling. Now my chin, exhaling to cat, round back, draw my thighs back and curl my spine, grow my spine through my thighs and through my fingers simultaneously, and then round my back, grab my arms back in, keep reaching down to come up, grow the side body, one more time like that, try to the extension, inhale, exhale, little belly, my upper inner thighs, and through, lengthening my two ends, nice and long, collarbone wide, soft heart. So it feels good. Round, exhale, rest down to pull up. And then back to where I started. Now continuing, I'm going to press the bar up at a high diagonal. Keep my plumb line, keep my hug in, and gently press forward. I'm going to adjust the spring here. And my whole body forward, take it to my edge. Pull my whole body down in that plank, do my tricep extension, and then press down as I lift my stirrup. Reach up. Oh, it feels so good. Come back to neutral. Reach down, round my back and tail, and fill my spine in. Round my chin, exhale, round my little back, exhale. Keep the press down, move through my tricep extension. Spring in for my little plank here, the diagonal. That's my edge. Press down through my tricep extension to lift up. Oh, feels good. Press down up, back to center. One more time like that. Round. Extend. Oh, round. Nice and fluid. Taking it to your own personal edge. Pull yourself through. Find your plank. A diagonal line from the top thigh. Move from your tricep extension. Back down, pressing down to lift up. Oh, feels so good. And I back home. And ending with my tricep extension. I'll inhale, press. Exhale, resist. Inhale, press. Exhale, resist, and resist, good. And add some lunges, some little lunges. So I'm gonna add my left foot to the bar to start. Round my right foot down, and I come right to the arc of my left foot. 
I'm going to press down, round my back, extend my spine, open my collarbone wide, not my chin, exhale, press down, down my right shin, left foot, and then I'm maybe going to stretch up and find a nice kneeling split here, pressing down with my bottom right shin, stretching up with my top left thigh, inhaling, and then again, pull it back, press it down, and then we extend. Thighs draw back, spine reaches forward. One more time, coil it back in, in my round. Stretch it back up. Stretching long. I feel so good, I'm gonna do one more time. Rounding, extending, rounding. Press it down, extending. Back up into my splits on a diagonal. I'm going to come back to neutral, take my foot off, take my other foot on there, and sweep back the smidge. Let's go. I'm going to arc of the foot. I'm going to start by pressing down and pull back as much as I press down. Pressing, pulling back my hands, pressing forward with my foot, trying to keep my hips as level as possible. Release my head and then extend my spine. This leg's a little tighter. And then I'm going to pull it in. Press down, down, down. Coil my waist and up. Work my thigh into my armpit chest and extend forward. Again, bend. Press. Round initially. Press forward and re extend my spine. And then pull in. And re extend my spine. Open chest. And pull in. Go two more. Nice and controlled. Pressing my back left shin bone down. Ooh, oh, I forgot I looked up here. Woo, feels good. Pull in. Stretch up. One more time. This feels really good. I'm trying to keep things level and balanced best of my ability. Probably not perfect, but it feels awfully good. Press down, pull in. And then stretch out. Ah, feels so nice. Okay, I'm gonna come kneel inside of arms. Okay, so my hips right on top of my shins. I'm trying to lift my hip points, pubic bone up, connecting my low waist, reach my arms to T, shoulders back. I'm gonna leverage down through the tops of my shins as I press down, integrating my right shoulder on my back. And my left arm energetically uh, grounds into my back, my left scapula, sorry. And I keep lifting up as I root down with my underarms, with my shin bones, feeling that tone lift through the inner thighs, through the floor, my pelvis, roof of mouth. And I'm gonna hold my shoulder in my back, float my left arm up, inhale, exhale, side bend. Keep grounding evenly to my two shin bones, tone the sides of the waistline. Take a breath, keep the reach down to pull myself back up, and come back to my T. Press, lift, inhale, exhale. Shin bones pressing, side body lengthening, right side obliques working. Take a breath, and exhale, press down to come up always in opposing two-way stretch. One more time, shoulders level, collarbone wide, shoulders on the back. Paying attention to the front of my rib cage that likes to push out into a back bend. I'm keeping my reaches, rooting my shin bones, toning my waistline to travel back tall and come center. And I'm going to add a little rotation. I'm going to press, lift up, start the same way. Find my plumb line. Exhale, side bend. Take a breath. Now I'm going to exhale, keep my hips facing you as I roll, take my spine. My left hip's going to attack in a little bit, but I keep firming my right butt up under. And then I'm going to bend my elbows, inhale, lift my scalpel on my back. Exhale, pull waistline in as I reach the bar. Exhale, root shins, tone in, see my thighs, through belly, up through roof and mouth. Rotating my waistline ribs. Transition my right hand back to where it was. 
Left arm over my ear, side bending, inhaling, exhale, resist to come back up. Very good. All right, before side two, I'm gonna turn face to that wall. Hold on to the bar, overhand grip. Find my plumb line, shoulders to hips, hips to shins. Hugging my midline, shoulders on my back. I'm just gonna press and pull. Inner elbows pull to center. Shoulders stay broad in my back. Triceps wrap back. Good, I'm gonna change my grip. Let's go back a little bit. Underhand grip, shoulders on my back, waist ribs in, balance point is forward, so I feel those hamstrings start to finish. And as I pull the bar up, I try to strongly engage my shoulders in and on my back more. Widen my collarbone. Good, change back to overhand grip, adding on. Good, I'm gonna bend my elbows and release my forehead, or my chin down, releasing my head, broadening my back, and then find neutral. Ascending, inhale, bending, rounding, up and over. And then come a little bit more, and exhale. So start small, and maybe take it bigger. Let the hips go back a little bit. Press the bar up a little bit. Feel the reach overhead, and then come back to neutral. Feels really good. Bend, rounding, pulling my pelvis back. Two bone is light, reaching my head. And then again, coming back to neutral. Adding on from there, so I bend around, pull my side back, and then pressing back into a child's pose, hips over ankles, and then come back up, find my neutral, and then press back, 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 root down, 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 to lift my chest out of my pelvis. Oh, back bending, back to neutral. Rounding my spine, pressing back, back, back. Watch the connection through the elbows. Mind sure you like to hyperextend. Find my neutral. Keep the reach down, down to lift up, up, up. Oh, maybe your head goes last. Lift your heart to come up. One more time. Rounding, rolling back, back, back. Coming back to neutral. Strong grip, transition, and press down to lift up, hugging to the center line, lifting your heart up, and then right back up to neutral. Oh, feels so good. Head, good. Change my grip just a couple times in this position. I'm going to bend my elbows, we'll draw the inner elbows in around my back, maybe press up. The different grip changes the stretch a little bit in the front of the chest. Come back to neutral. Reach down to lift up from the top of the, and from the ends of the inner thighs. Lift up to go back. Come to neutral. Just one more time with this reverse grip. Rounding. Going back. Pulling my arms up out of my small my back. Coming to neutral. Sensing that plumb line. And from that plumb line, I root down. Curl my heart up. Breathe into my upper chest. Maybe my head goes. And then lift to come up. And release the bar. Put one hand off. Feels good. I'm going to turn face my back to you, facing my garage door. Again, root my shins, hug my midline. Keep that sense of midline. Reach my arms out to the side. Here's my stance. Shoulders on my back, I'm gonna press and lift. I'm gonna press. Feel my right shoulder as well, energetically reaching into an imaginary bar. I'm gonna press down as I time to lift up, pause, take a breath, shoulder on my back, side bending, hugging in, rooting down, inhaling. Exhale, resist. Keep that press down to come up, back to T. Again, press down to lift up, stay forward, feel those hamstrings, exhale, side bending, pause, breath in, breathe into the side waist, and exhale, resist to come up, and back to your T. One more time, press, grow, exhale, take a breath, exhale, resist to come up, 
Now adding that rotation, shoulder from the back, press down, and abdomen in, lift up, side bending. Now I'm going to roll to allow my right hip to come with me a little bit in the rotation, bend my elbows wide, lift my scapula up, and exhale, press. Try to keep drawing my left elbow down, tone through my upper inner thighs, going through the plumb line, up through the roof of my mouth, down to my head. One more time, exhale, have them in deep, 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 hand transition, back to my side bend, inhale, exhale, resist, come back up, and plenty. Whew. Let me continue now, having a seat, working my feet up against the post for a simple push through. Okay, I'm going to start on the apex of my two sit bones, reach my arms up to the bar, and come forward on the tip of the, of the front tip of my sit bones. As I press up, I'm going to watch those front ribs. I really like to push forward. Just do the best I can. I'm just going to take three breaths. I'm going to inhale. Maybe shrug up a little bit more. Exhale, soften that effort. Ears right between my upper arms. Now keep that lift. Soften my shoulders. From my low waist, roll back. Tailbone under, under, under. Press down, feel my lats. And exhale, round my back. Push through. Stay on the apex of those sit bones. Keep the reach forward as you roll back. I'm coming to the back edge of my sit bones. I feel that. Keep reaching. Try to keep the spring taut. Throw it back. Good. And then I come back to the apex and forward on my sit bones here. Breath in, watching my ribs. Exhale, leave my sacrum going under, under, belly in, shoulders back, lats connected. Exhale, pressing, staying on my two sit bones. And then we're going to pull back, pull back, low belly, ribs. Throat, sternum, keep the hotness in that spring, and then hinging back up on the apex, slightly forward. Last one, exhale, arms always follow. Leave the sacrum going under, elbow down. Exhale, come forward to my sit bones. Whew. Roll it back once more, keep that two way stretch. Pull the waistline back as we press forward. And then lift up, 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 very good. From there, I'm just going to go ahead, lie down. Ah, it feels so nice. I'm going to take my feet up onto the push through bar and my tabletop. So the bar is unsteady. I'm going to feel the arch of the feet press directly into that bar. Anchor my shoulders, face my skull. I'm going to peel my low back, mid back, upper back up into a bridge position and then roll from my upper spine back down. Lengthen my legs. I'm going to do that twice more. Find my bridge, exhale, roll up. Stand on my upper back, exhale, roll back down. Extend my legs. Bend table. Exhale, tailbone under. Adjust my shoulders. Exhale, roll it back down. Continuing, exhale, roll it up, extend my legs, and then kick my right leg up, and change my left leg up, opposing leg still working, up, change, standing on my shoulders, triceps taut, bending my knees, lifting my hips, exhale from the upper throat, sternum, I roll it down, nice and supple, one more like that, shoulder bridge, Pelvic tilt, rolls under and up. Standing on my two shoulders, gazes up. Extending my legs. And kick left and change. Kick right. Pelvis as still as possible. Left, change, right, change. Bend my knees, lift my hips. From the upper throat, sternum roll down. Feels so nice. Now one leg. Pelvic tilt, roll it up. Stand on your shoulders, keep the chin up. Now, from here, I'm going to kick my left leg up and keep it up. And I'm going to stretch my right leg through. I'm going to give my legs, my pelvis a little support. Lift my hips as the right leg reaches through. Good. And I'm going to change legs, right leg up, pelvis hips stay up. 
and stretch. Left leg through and back up. And left leg through, trying to this level and back up. Both legs on there, inhale, upper throat, <sighs> melt it down. And extend your legs. Bend your knees, clasping hands above your heart, pulling your hands apart, inhaling here. Slowly reach the arms overhead as you extend the legs, watching the middle spine. Keep that softening ribs to back. Inhale. Pull your hands apart. Elbows stay bent. Exhale. Soft ribs. Abdomen in. One more time. Inhaling. Breathing big. Exhaling. Narrowing and lengthening. Now stay standing in your legs. My knees have to stay hyper or bent so they don't hyperextend. And I'm just going to draw one el elbow to the right and elbow to the left. Just try to create width in my scapula here. Keep my my connections from my waist ribs through my pelvis feet. Hamstrings are really strong, inner thighs to two. And I'm going to draw my elbows to the right again and turn my head so my nose up to the eye of my elbow. Come center, nose right to the left eye of my elbow. Keep pulling your hands apart. So even as I look to my right, I'm pulling back my left elbow, softening the front rib sternum, which is where I really like to push out. Center, reach the arms, reach the legs. Pull my arms up out of my shoulders. Gently plug them in my back. They bend my knees a little bit, and I'm gonna curl up. And exhale, reach forward. I'm gonna grab hold of the bar and scoop back an inch or two for reverse monkey. I'm gonna pull the bar in and exhale, extend arms and legs. Roll back to the back of my sit bones and exhale, stretch forward, forward folding. Bending, inhaling, exhale, extend. Bending, inhaling, exhale, extend. Twice more. Feel that rock and roll on the pelvis. Sit bones in the middle, move forward in an arc. Sit bones neutral, pull it back more in a posterior plane. One more time. Nice and control, shoulders back. Inhale, exhale. Oh, feels so very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take my feet off of there. I'm gonna do tower and monkey to follow. So I'm gonna press the bar up, draw my toes on the bar. I'm gonna just work feet hip distance width and parallel. I'm gonna try to get all my toes spreading, curling over that bar. I'm gonna reach my arms back, elbows in, pressing my hands and integrating my shoulders in and on my back. I'm gonna press the bar up and flex, inhale, point, exhale. Try to keep rooting my pelvis down, tailbone down. Spreading my toes, pressing my hands, integrating shoulders, inner elbows in. Now add on, keep the point, bend my knees, try to keep my tailbone down. Maybe the knees have to go out a little bit, create more width, more space. Stretch up and then flex. Point and bend, keeping the push up. Feel that opening in my floor, my pelvis. I'm keeping the mounds of the toes on the bar, but I'm allowing my inner knees to open up a little bit without losing my toes, especially now with the big toe pressing on that bar. Feels good. Now I'm going to add on. I'm going to initiate for my pelvis. Pelvic tilt. Roll it up. Round back. Anchor my upper back. Press my hands, elbows in, and I'm going to bend and stretch three times. Lifting my back through the of my leg. Following my middle. Pause. Take a breath. Keep my reaches. Hug my midline. Exhale. Roll down. Good. Flex. Point. Bend, reset the femurs in the hip. Pelvic tilt. We go again. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, pressing hand. Pressing legs. Traction to my middle. Pause, breath. Keep my reach. Soften my throat, my sternum, my ribs, my low back. Release my tail. 
flex, point, keep the point, set my femurs in my hips, keep my reaches, exhale, pelvic tilt. And here I go one more time, inhale, broadening my back, exhale. Strong center, long limbs, exhale, full breath. Exhale from the top of my throat, then my ribs, then my low back, sacrum, tail, flex, point, flex, point, flex. And I'll keep my point, use my hands, and drag myself back. Okay. So just the sacrum low back is on the mat. And I'm going to carefully reach through, pull around to the outer edge of my feet, and curl up like a little ball, round back. Release my head, watching that bar overhead. Come in, inhale, roll it up. Come right onto the sit bones, forward in, and flex and point. Or I'm on the back now, but trying to work it more forward. And keep my point, bend my knees, exhale, resist to go down evenly as I can. And I'm gonna inhale, lift up, flex, exhale, belly. Keep drawing my shoulders down to my hips, lengthen the spine, soften my waist ribs. Keep the point, belly in, and pull it down, bone by bone, once more. Inhale, pulling with my hands, pushing with my feet, shoulders back. Flex in, point one. Exhale, two. Try to drop forward a little more on my sit bones. Three, bend my knees and then roll. Ah, feels good. I'm gonna slide my feet out of there. And then slide my way back on. Roll to my side to come back up. Use an underhand grip to start. I'm gonna again find my plumb line. Typically, I find most people start like this, sort of dumping in their back, vulnerable in their stomach. Not much happening back there. So I'm going to shift the body forward until I feel like I'm going to tip over. My belly's going to catch me. I feel the hamstrings turn on. Try to stack my posture, pelvis to crown. Pick up the bar and exhale. Extend. Rebend. And extend. Keep your plumb line. Stay more forward and back. I'm just doing five more. I build my strength. My shin bones pressing down. My inner thigh is zipping up through my waistline, up through my hands, up through my head. Try to get a good wrap with all ten fingers, even pinky finger. Give me a nice external rotation. Promote that width and opening in your chest. It's, hard to, it's really hard to stay forward when I lower the bar. I'm trying to. There's two more. Stay forward. Keep connecting the back of the glutes, hamstrings. One more time. Good. Excellent. Now building that connection here, I'm going to take it back down for a teaser. Okay. So find your legs at the wall. Take hold of the bar. Find a good, spacious connection. Nod your chin, exhale, peel the spine up into your teaser. Take a breath, keep the reach, arms and legs, and exhale, try to articulate down, one bone at a time. <sighs> Let it go. Spacious connection, so watch this happening. Keep a gentle press, pull the stomach in. And exhale, upper middle, lower, and forward, Right on your sit bones, take a breath, and exhale again, roll down, go back first, mid-back second, upper back, back head last, release, all the way, <laughs> one more time, abdomen in, shoulders back, now my chin, inhale, exhale, upper, middle, lower, take a breath, keep the reach, and exhale, exhale, exhale. Woo! That's intense. Okay. Simple roll downs with the roll down bar. Feet up against the post. Arms holding on. I'm going to press down, lift up, hinge back, get long. And then from the small way back, I'm going to roll down one bone at a time. Upper back, neck, and head. Take a couple shoulder circles.
feels really good on me. Anchor my shoulders down, not much to my chest, and exhale, peel, pull, all the way back up. Come right up to my sit bones. The press lift, hinge again. This time roll halfway down. I just do 10 times like a mini uh, roll up. Roll the back of my scapula, and exhale, rolling through that low back. Inhale, back of my scapula, exhale, shoulders still on my back. I'm just rolling, articulating small on my waist, or my small on my back, using small on my waist for support. Trying to. I like to inhale, low back, tight space, and length, exhale into that length, pull belly deeper. Inhale, and exhale, pull the belly deeper from the upper inner thighs. Twice more. Lengthen space. Exhale, pull deeper, cinching that little belly band. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And I'm going to stay halfway back right here. I'm going to inhale, pull the bar to the bottom of my sternum. Exhale, deepen my seeker. Deepen my waistband. Exhale. Again, it doesn't go just in. It goes in and up. Lengthening through my upper throat. Back of the skull. Back of my seat. Lengthening those two ends in opposition. Exhale. Pulling from my back. Elbows wide. One more time. Pause. Breath. Exhale. Roll it down. Shoulders back. This time I'm going to press down. Reach up. Press down. Reach up like a chest expansion. And then on my chin. And peel back. Come all the way up. This one time, accenting my side, I'm going to press, lift, hinge, roll it back. Reach my right arm up, press up to ear. I'm going to side bend, maybe catch the end of the barrel or end of the pole here. Look into my armpit, cross my right leg over my left. Breath in, breath out, soften my ribs, relax my shoulders. Take a deep breath in my right side. Feels good. And then come back to the center, wrap my weights on my chin, exhale, pull back to come back up. Back to the tip top of my sit bones, side two, press, and just some length first, I sure need it. Tailbone under, low belly, scoop it out, anchor my shoulders, easy does it. Reach my left arm up, side bend over. Look into my left arm, but allow my right shoulder to relax. Take my left leg over my right, inhaling. Exhale, I like to keep my knees bent so I keep my sacrum level. Not twisting it or twerking it. I'm gonna focus on pulling my belly in, ribs down, enjoying the nice side bend here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come back to center. Wrap my left arm around, I'll reach into my chest and exhale. Gently pull myself back up. Good. And release. Excellent. I'm going to use my hands actually first to help me put the bar underneath my thighs. There you go. I'm going to press my hands to the post. I'm going to stretch my two arms straight and long. Hug to my middle. Anchor my shoulders. Adjust my knees. Keep the bar level. I'm going to tap my toes to begin. I'm going to hinge up my hips. Strong arms. Heel my back up, send through my thighs, and tap. I'm going to roll. Exhale from the top down. Hinge, pelvic tilt, roll it up, unfold, and stretch longer. Exhale, roll it down. Hinge, roll it up one more time. Stand on my two shoulders, reach the arms, stretch through my thighs. Exhale, upper, middle, lower. Reverse. Pelvic tilt, lift in your bridge, reach back to float up, hinge and roll it down. Tap, roll it up, bridge. Get some length, extend knees out of pelvis, out of shoulders, forward, fold and roll it back down. One more time, arms stay steady and strong, start to finish. Reach back to float up, hinge, roll it down. Feels really nice, that one. Push my legs up. 
Excellent. I'm going to continue with some simple leg circles. Broadening out, broadening in. Just four more. Reach into my springs. Good, back into a circle. Circle open around together. Four more in this direction. Shoulders still integrated on my back. Nice and symmetrical circles. Reversing for five. Feet are relaxed. Working my knee down into my hip. Working my back tall in that position. To the reach of my legs. Good. Scissors, nice and easy right. Up, left, up. Pelvis stable. Now pause here. I'm inhaling. Exhale, meet 45. Inhale, split. Exhale, meet 45. Pelvis still stable. Last one. Six point frog. I'll start with my knees bent in. Stretch out on one, open on two, reach on three, together on four, slide on five, up on six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One more time like that. Four, five, and six. Reverse. Remember to lengthen your spine in opposition to the reach of your legs. The spine is always primary focus. As the legs are moving, we use that for leverage to grow our spinal column. Good. I'm just bend my knees there, take hold of my black straps and go for a simple happy baby. Reach my legs and bend my knees. Reach my legs, bend my knees. Stretch back out through my inner heels. Draw my legs together. Keep pulling down, we press up. And that's plenty of that. I'm going to rock and roll up to seated for a little chest expansion and roll and roll out. There we go. Nice and simple. Again, remembering to start not here, but aim to start more forward. So you can palpate your own hamstrings and you can feel those strengthen. Ground the shins, even ten toes, abdomen in, gazes forward. Inhale, stand strong, look right, center, left, center, exhale. Reach down, pull up, look left, stay forward, ground those shins, and exhale. One more set, I'm going to come forward a little bit more. Inhale, right, center, left. Center, whoo, one more time, down those shins, look left, center, right, center, whoo, and we sneak back a little bit, mini roll and roll out, I'm going to start by hinging on my hip crease, and then hinging, and hinging, and then hinging, just moving from quadruped, inhaling, Belly to spine, exhaling, adding on, hinge, pull in, iron my spine up, hinge, iron my spine, my pull down bar, hinge, try to keep my hips going forward, as I tap my little belly in and up, reverse, then iron down, belly to spine, and lengthen back to quadruped, try some more, bend, pull this down again, Quadruped and fold. Bend, pull my stomach in. Good. Now, staying with that one, our challenge a little bit more range. So I'm going to start by hinging back in my thigh stretch. I'm going to hinge back to the top of my thigh. I'm going to pull the bar to my sternum. Up here, my waist, thighs, all the way back forward, and then fold. Come up. Five stretch, soften my waist, bend, pull the stomach in, come all the way to quadruped, 
and use your stomach to come up. One more time. Hips are level. Whew. That's strong. A lot to control that bar. Reverse and press. Pull. Iron all the way up my stomach. Maybe a little back bend. And lead with my heart to come up. Press. Pull. Stomach and it up. Feel burn in your waist. Oh, so good. One more time. You don't have to let your head go. Do it if it feels good. Oh, very nice. And I'm going to end us with that. Hopefully you enjoyed that workout. I'll see you next time.